What's up, y'all? I'm back. Back in action. I'm going to give y'all a second to come on in. What's up? What's up, YouTube? I'm going live to, to, to see if it's worth it. Talk to y'all about if it's worth it to do this Amazon relay box truck stuff everybody talking about. I actually want to push a couple folks to do semis, to be honest. So let's talk about it and see. I'm, I'm going to wait till I get some people to come in. What's up with you, Kevin? What's up? What's up? What's up? I see you. Give me one second, y'all. Kevin, I see you say you about to buy a box truck. Yeah, I see you. I see some people climbing in, so. What up, Kev? Where are you trying to buy a box truck from? What, what area are you out of? What area are you out of, Kevin? All right, so I'm going to... So I'm going to be on here for about 45 minutes to an hour. So I'm going to jump right in. This live right here is strictly just to talk about, is it really worth it? I'm going to pull up. What up, Brian Williams? I'm going to pull up my Amazon relay and kind of show y'all some of the some of the loads that I got coming up for this upcoming week and kind of show y'all like how we did like 40,000 this week. That's a That's a, that's a very, very low week, especially coming off of, off of December's where we were doing a hundred thousand a week. So that's like a, it's like half drop, but of course that was peak season, but, um, but on average we should typically be, be at about 60, 70,000 a week with the amount of trucks that we running, but they, but it is good, bad and ugly. And I, and I do want y'all to see the good bag and the good, bad and the ugly. Cause everybody's so excited about jumping in. But I'm gonna play the bad guy on YouTube. Everybody else is talking about how good it is, and I'm gonna tell y'all, yeah, it's good, but you're gonna eat some shit. You know, it it ain't gonna all be just peaches and cream jumping in the box truck game or just jumping in the trucking game. Period. You know, I'm definitely not trying to discourage people. Of course, that's why I do coaching and 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 try to help people. But I want everybody to know that there's gonna be a time that you're gonna have to. It's gonna have to be time that you put in. It's gonna be a lot of time that you're gonna have to put into actually doing this. So I'm not going to take too much time just talking about that. I'm a, uh, if y'all got some questions or whatever, drop them in. I'm going to start rolling it because I'm definitely tired. All right, let me, let me share my screen. Hold on first. Let me, let me pull it up real quick. All right, all right. Share screen. Range. Application window, Chrome tab, trips. That's what I want to share. All right, so y'all should be able to see my screen right now. Y'all should see me scrolling on the screen. So what I'm going to show y'all is, okay, I'm going to go to the dashboard. I don't have um, a lot of trucks. My, my score is not. I want to show y'all that your score ain't got to be. 100% for them to get loads. If you ain't getting loads, it could just be your area. But this is where we're at right now for the year. Year to date. But as you can see, the the what we did in Jan December, January, that drop off was crazy. 327 to to this. Well, really, this is this is this is a little screwed up though. But it's it's pretty accurate. So we're gonna jump right into some trips real quick. So I got the trips. So some trips for next week. What they gave us for next week this Monday. So I'm gonna show y'all the, the good and the bad because it, it's some good with some bad. Dedicated ain't all that you think it is. It's 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 not what people trying to sell sell it sell you on it. Now I am making money, but I'm gonna show you how I'm losing and winning at the same time. It's it's it's, it's the great balance. It's the great balance. So look at this route right here. So this route. 132 miles, 362. Now, this route, look at this route, 286, 
and this is dedicated. You don't see spot on the side of mines right here. Now I'm gonna show y'all the difference between what a low board load look like if you got it off the low board versus if you um if it's dedicated. So you see this right here. This load right here says spot right there. That's a that's a load that I got off the low board. Twenty seven hundred dollar load that I got, but that's a that's a power only load. That's a that's a semi load. Let's get back over the trips. So I'm gonna go back and show y'all real quick. All right, so that's Saturday. So that's so the, the week start on Sunday. So we'll start off with Sunday route. So like I said, I got it. That's 132 miles. You see these? See, see, that's a trash route. So I'm losing on that. But then I'm turning around. This went halfway decent. It's 39 miles. So I'm not going to use much fuel on that one. This one is incorrect. This is a tour. This definitely paid more than $76. But it just sometimes it, it be jacked up when they um when you dedicate it and it. They send it to you. It's gonna look more like this. This is a this is a tour, 246 miles round trip. So this is gonna take me out, take the driver out, and bring the driver back for six hundred dollars. That's not bad. So you got to think about it. If I got let's see on let's see on Saturday, I got how many we run? We got one. We got well, that's these day these day runs right here. So we got. So we got one, two, three. Hold on, that, that can't be it. That can't be it. Okay, so Saturday we right here. It's for the morning night. So we got one, two. That's the day. That's actually the day. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we only got ten routes for Sunday, which is pretty standard. The Sundays are a bit slow. So you figure. This is really like a six hundred dollar route right here. It's it just it's just jacked up. Then you got you got like Brookhaven. You got the short route. So you see these routes. They they only make sense because I got like ten of them. You get what I'm saying? They not the greatest paying routes. So like even even this one right here is a is a freaking losing route. So I just want y'all to not get it twisted. Like don't don't get it twisted and think it's all sweet. I make it work because I they give me daytime routes as you can see up there. I get I get some during the day too, so I can run some trucks multiple times. But the but the bread and butters you got to think about like this. I spend like one or two hours a day running my business, so to me it makes sense if each of my trucks make a hundred fifty dollars profit. I really don't care because it's gonna be a thousand, fifteen hundred, eighteen hundred, two thousand dollars a day. You get what I'm saying? I mean, it's gonna be like that that much money for me. So it's not it's not really something that I really care a whole lot about. But it it definitely is one of those things that you got to consider that in the beginning, you're going to eat a lot of shit. Now, it, there are some guys out there that could, that with one box truck that can run and sit and wait and do, they can make more money than me, per se. They can make more money than me per truck. Absolutely possible. Absolutely possible for somebody to make more money than me per truck. But the, the the value that I'm trying to get people to see from a CEO mindset is that I only spend like maybe five or six hours a week on my business because I built it up that way. So I would rather make less money to have more of my time. But I'm still, like I said, on a on a bad month, I'm still clearing forty or fifty thousand. So to me, it makes sense. That's what I, this was, this is what I aspire to be. I aspired to be, to have my business work for me, not for me to be in the truck. Now, granted, I was in the truck for the first two and a half years, but once I figured it out, I'm like, man, let me get out this truck because I couldn't properly manage my books. I know I'm saying the, 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 the 2000 a day is what I'm saying. That's after that, that's what I'm bringing home someday. Some, some, some days it might be 1500. It just depends on the day. Some days it might be a thousand. It just depends, but you got to think if it's 40,000 a week, you just got to break. Like this is a bad week. So 40,000 divided by seven, so whatever it is. Let me, let me get a calculator real quick. Cause I don't, I don't really know. I would say it's about seven. What would that be about 7,000 a day, seven, 8,000 a day, something like that. So, yeah. So it's making money, but you got to think about like my operation costs. It's just, you know, trucks. You know, they got maintenance and all of that. But keep in mind, think about 
trucking in anything in value. There is a guy that, that may have a semi that's going to be like, oh, yeah, I can make X amount of dollars this week on it. But how? But that guy is in the truck while I'm asleep. You see what I'm saying? So you got to depend on why, like I got my other businesses, my real estate. So I'm, I'm training up entrepreneurs. I'm not looking for people who following me to be the mindset to be on owner operators. So I'm not looking for everybody to follow me. Not everybody is going to feel it. Not everybody wants to do that. Some guys just want one truck, which is perfectly fine. But I'm, I'm looking to train up entrepreneurs, people who want to be bosses, people who want to be playing with their kids while they making money, people who want to be sleek while they making money. I don't know if y'all follow me on Instagram, but y'all see I was just out in Miami with the Rolls Royce while my trucks were still moving, paying for my vacation. So I'm trying to inspire that type of energy, not anything else. So I'm talking of everything from an entrepreneurial standpoint, not for a worker bee or somebody who feel like that if I can't do it, it can't be done. No, I want I want to teach people how to create structure and systems. So let me get to some of these questions. I see y'all 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 coming in, Kevin. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm, I'm definitely try to um, put it up on that on, on Baltimore. Real quick for the one time, um, Florida. I see a couple people asking about Florida. Florida is, uh, I just had a consultation earlier. But I don't like to talk about Florida, man. But I had a, I had so many bad experiences with Florida, man. Amazon sent me out to Jacksonville, bro. And they they promised me 10 routes, man. And <laughs> they gave me like five. And the, the energy out there is just, the trucking market is just horrible to me out there. Um, I love Florida as far as visiting, but as far as trucking, the rates pay, ah, they just weird. I mean, to 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 me, it wasn't. It just wasn't worth it. Worth it for real. Um, let me see. Let me see. So, let me knock out some of these questions. So I see. I'm gonna holler at Kevin. He was on here first. Hopefully the, he said, hopefully the numbers make sense in Baltimore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back on here and we're going to look at, we're going to look at Baltimore real quick on the load board for box trucks. Let's, let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. And like I said, I'm trying to give y'all a live look. I'm going to do these weekly up to Tuesday and Friday. I'm trying to give y'all as much information as possible. Cause like I said, if Amazon, it, as much as they change and they can shut the doors next week. Who knows? So I just get all of the money and invest in real estate anyway. So we on the low board. So let's look up Baltimore. Baltimore. Baltimore MD. Let's see what they got. And keep in mind, you could do poster trucks to catch some of the stuff. See this? See, look at these. Like, you don't want to book these. See, you can't even book these early. Like, I be getting mine early like a week early, but like you gonna have to, you ain't gonna have no choice but to wait on for them to raise this up. Cause Baltimore, you see, they got a lot of, they got a lot of them on her, but I couldn't make none of these make sense, period. Dollar 80, this, this dollar anything, and it's not round trip, you losing. You losing right off the bat. Unless you know you can guarantee you can find something back, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even deal with it. I wouldn't even deal with it at all. I wouldn't deal with it at all, man. Kevin, I'm my apologies, man. Well, but that's just what it looked like now. See, Brian, you say you're about to buy a truck in Baltimore. Baltimore low boy. What about Florida? So what about Florida are y'all asking? Exactly. If you somebody all right, let's see. If you already are working a full time, full time, can you put a driver right into the truck starting out leasing the truck? Yeah, you can. Yes, you can. You can definitely do that. Like I would suggest if you can, but it's going trucking is one of those things that has trucking is one of those things that has a very, uh, very, very particular way of you have to do business, especially with dealing with DOT. So I suggest that you maybe take vacation time. Right, my friend, take vacation for like a week and try it out yourself in a rental truck don't go lease a truck first do it in a rental truck even if you only break even at least you would have the experience because the thing is you don't want to be you don't want to be doing it you know what i mean and then you realize you didn't win at least the truck you got a two-year lease 
you got this driver out here, you didn't pay for this insurance, and now you don't even like it. So I feel like everybody, especially in the box truck space, do it yourself first. Do it yourself. Go go see what's a couple of different works, um, like different things that you can do at work. Like you got appliance delivery, you got furniture delivery, you got Amazon, you got FedEx, you got all of these different things. Go try that first. Go try that first, my friend. Shouts out to Brandon. Thank you for shooting me in the donation, brother. I appreciate that. That's going to make me be able to definitely, definitely um, help me be able to do these more. Because it's, it's like church. You know, you need offering to keep the lights on. I'm taking away from my business to do it. So, man, I appreciate it. Can you check out Las Vegas, Nevada? I definitely could do that. I love Vegas. I actually got a, actually got a speaking engagement in Vegas. I actually got a speaking engagement in Vegas on April 1st. If y'all out there, check me out. I'll be out there with Yaki Awaken. Speaking about entrepreneurship. Let's see. Let's go back to this low board. We already on here. Let's do let's do Vegas. Let's see what Vegas got to offer. All right, let's get it over to 26 foot. And it's nothing. It said there's nothing out there within. It said unable to detect location. Hold on, let me see. Now it's saying Las Vegas right there. Let's see if we can move it up to like 200 miles. So it's saying the closest thing to Las Vegas is Bakersfield and in like Reno. So there's nothing on the board right at the moment. Now, quick question for you. Brandon, are you only interested in, okay, you said box truck and semi. Right, oh, you said box truck and semi. So let me go show you some power only joints real quick. Give me, give me a second. Give me a second. So let me go here. We're going to take that off. We're just going to let it open up to everything. So I wouldn't suggest driving 200 miles dead ahead, but if well first we first we'll try to see what's in a what's close to you. Okay, 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 okay. Look at this. This is a damn good load right here. This is a damn good load. Look at that. Two dollars and twenty seven cents a mile round trip. If you, if I was where you was at, I you see that team? I I would get that team load. Brandon, grab a team and put them on that because that's a that's that's a really good load. This is this is uh a dollar fifty seven. If I ain't have nothing else to do, I might I might have my driver do it. That ain't that bad. That's about the lowest I can get because my with the trucks I own, my semis, my cost is about a dollar. It's about a dollar five cent a mile. So that'd give me about forty five cents a mile profit. See me, I'd be cool with taking fifty thousand fifteen hundred dollars off each truck. I don't I don't care as long as I ain't got to deal with the drivers and deal with all of that stuff no more. I got people for it. Look at this. So, yeah, they got some good team loads out there. And they got a lot of stuff that's going around trip. It's, like I said, it ain't the best stuff. And, and and see, this is, y'all see these locks right here? These locks is when, see, like, I get to see it before a lot of other people get to see it. So, that's what that is. And sometimes they be red. The little locks be red. So, that's why a lot of times when, if y'all, I don't know if y'all ever did Amazon Relay, but when you do it, you end up booking like you end up there seeing by the time they sent you the email, they mugger be booked already. So all right, so let me check out some of these questions real quick. Some of these questions. Can I reply? Why not? Um, Collins, just go to KobePegway.com, my brother. Check me out and book the class. All right, so I already answered that. I'm gonna try to show y'all Philly. I'm trying to answer some questions. I wanna I wanna show some of y'all um cities and stuff, but did anybody got any questions? All right, I'm steady scrolling. I got an email today. Alejandro, I got an email today about Amazon Freight Partner. What do you think about it? Is that to partner with vans or is that box trucks or is that what? Because I heard about a couple of I heard about a couple of new programs out there. I heard about a couple of programs where they was got these box trucks that's wrapped up and they trying to help you start a company. So and they got something coming up, but I know them rates going to be horrible. 
The only good thing I would say about my rates not being as high is that they give me 31 cents off the um, Amazon. Give me that fuel card. It's 31 cents off the gallon. So that's clutch when you're getting thousands of fuel. And, 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 and mind you, the 40,000 I made is after fuel. So my fuel was thousands of dollars. So they already took the fuel out because I used their fuel card. So let me let that be. So when you see that 422,000 that out that we made, that's after fuel. So you can add an extra 30,000 or something on there too, because they actually, they give that those are the numbers after they take my fuel out. Cause I only use their fuel card because they give me very good discounts. So yeah. So Alejandro, if you can, if you can let me know exactly what you're trying to get, I mean, um, what exactly is that pertaining to? I can I can better help you out, my brother. Latroy Carey, what's a good rate per mile? So that's a lot of stuff I'm going to be talking about in the class. It's very hard to break it down. Um, a good rate per mile, of course, you want $2 a mile. That's the bet. That's a great $2 and up is the rule. But you can make money. Like, you don't want to be sitting for two days because you ain't getting $2 a mile. Some people would suggest you sit and wait. I got to keep my wheels turning. So, like I said, if I could get, if my cost in my truck is a dollar a mile and I show the formula, but like the formula I'm going to have is going to be, have to, something I'm going to have to do on like a whiteboard. It's going to be hard to show the formula, like, like tell you the formula. It's too many things to remember in your head. But my cost is a dollar or to like a dollar five cents. So a dollar 75, I'm profitable. So you figure 75, you figure, let's say 80 cents on a thousand miles, you know? They ain't bad money. It's about eight hundred bucks, so that's not that's not bad money. I'm cool with that. If I do that three times a week, that's twenty four hundred. You think I'm finna be mad if I got ten trucks just doing twenty four hundred ten semis? It's twenty four grand a week. It's a hundred thousand dollars profit a month. So you got to think scale, y'all. Think scale. Don't think this. Everybody talking this one truck. If you in a truck trying to catch everything, no. Think about volume. Think about Coca-Cola making billions of dollars off selling 50 cent sodas. Think about it that way. Think about volume. If I get 10 trucks, that means now I can afford to hire a doc, a manager, right? You get 10 trucks and they all, let's say, let's say on the low one, you got 10 trucks and they all make a thousand dollars profit, right? Look at that. They make a thousand dollars profit. That's 10 grand. You can pay an ops manager, somebody to run that whole thing for 1500. And take 8,500. So why are you looking to, to, to pity pinch when you could take somebody, when you can have $8,500 coming in, or even if it was $5,000 coming in that you only spend in 10 hours to do? How many people could say they spend, they make $5,000 a week off 10 hours worth of work? I'm just saying. We got to start thinking like entrepreneurs. We got to think volume. We got to think scale. Uh, let's see. No problem. No problem, my brother. I, I'm, I'm trying to answer as many of these. Shout out to you, Demetrius B, man. I appreciate you being here, man. You know, you the you the GOAT on that on, on that registration, bro. Like, like you, you be having the answers. Like, hey, anybody that asks me about how to register, I'll be like, hey man, go to Demetrius page because I haven't registered. It's been two years since I since I registered and they the requirements are not the same. When I read when I registered, you had to have a semi. You couldn't just get in with a box truck. So I don't know anything um about that that um portion of it so hold on i'm still scrolling down it's a lot man it's these must coming in too fast i hope i ain't miss nobody up here already hold on let me see i'm a driver can i run a uh, can i can i run a driver in a truck and keep being a company driver sure you can that, that's just, hey sure you can you could do that because if you a driver already, you already know what it takes. So I definitely think it'd be worth the chance for you, anybody. I got a driver right now that's actually about to buy a truck, even to continue to keep making this fifteen hundred dollars make, he make with me a week, and and he about to start his own thing. I told him, hey, man, I ain't holding nobody back at all. I don't want no employees. I want to be a full time freight agent and get rid of my trucks eventually. But I'm a, I'm gonna keep getting as soon as Amazon kick me out, I'll be gone probably. What up, Mike Johnson, St. Louis in the in the building. I'm from I'm a, I'm from St. Louis. All right, uh, let's see. What it, what in your opinion would be worth it for a one way trip and or also round trip in a box truck? I think I just kind of answered that. One way 
when you when you're looking at the one way loads, it gotta be three dollars one way automatically because that that means that's a dollar fifty. That that's to me is my minimum a dollar fifty a mile. That's minimum, but it also depends on your situation. See, my deal with Ryder was three three hundred fifty dollars a week, nine cents a mile, and then my other trucks I own them. See what I'm saying? So I can run for a lot less than somebody else that's renting a truck or they paying an arm and a leg for it because my cost is low because I run in volume. And then you got to think I'm getting 31 cents off a gallon too. So all of my, with all of the things that I'm saving on, I can run and be profitable different than, so don't let nobody tell you about it being like one way to do it. There is no one way. Everybody's situation is different. Every market is different. So make sure you get an information that's specific for your market. Not, you know, what, so what you heard somebody say in some Facebook group or, or, some, or some YouTube channel, get the facts about your market. Like St. Louis market is better than Atlanta market because it's less trucks. Atlanta market sucks because everybody is getting in the game and it's, oh, it's getting oversaturated. But the people, the, the only the strong will survive, I heard, but out there they paying for like even power only loads, they paying about $300 more a load per load. So that means I can make a thousand dollars more if I put a truck out there in St. Louis. So it's just a different, it's just, I don't want to deal with the headache of the code out there. Cause you're going to have to plug the truck in and I ain't trying to be dealing with all of that. So let's see, let's scroll. Let's keep scrolling. Oh man. Oh yeah, man. I got, Oh uh, yeah, I see you um peeping the peeping this uh he says a sock in the background. Trey, get your sock up off the ground, man. <laughs> oh no, that's all good, man. You paying very attention to detail. This hey. Judge me all you want. You wanna see the rest of the career? Oh, you wanna see how yeah, look, hey. I'll show you a little something. My son over there on the floor. Look at that. A sock on the floor. It's a castle, though, Jack. My room got rooms. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Even the even even players mess up, y'all. It's all it's all good, man. I'm I'm giving y'all a game. Don't worry about no sock. I tell you, you ain't here to get no knowledge. <laughs> you worried about my background? Um. I don't want to. I don't want to bury your name, um, Mr. Roll. Um, you said how much is the class? It's three forty nine, and you can go. You can go get the in- information. KobePegway dot com. That's good. Finding that's good. Finding reliable drivers is the problem. That definitely is a huge problem. All right, all right. De- uh, D'Angelo Gordon say, "What's my ultimate goal?" My ultimate goal is to is to have seven streams of income. That's my ultimate goal. To keep trucking is one of those those incomes that that I have, along with the restaurant, along with the Airbnbs, along with everything else. My ultimate goal is to scale, is to is to spend time with my kids, to keep building business systems, and that's what I'm trying to teach y'all to do the same thing. So that's my ultimate goal in it. How was the market in Arizona, Willie? Um, I was out there in Arizona. I made good money during peak out there doing um doing Amazon. I I, I did make good money out there. It's a tough market because Arizona. It only have Cali and, and Vegas that's close to. So that that that's what that's why I came back to Georgia because Atlanta has a whole lot of different cities that's around like North Carolina, so I, that you can hit and come back the same day. Cause I like to be home. So I had to come back to where I know I could be home every day. Good question though. Good question. How can you determine how saturated your market is? That's a good, that's a damn good question. Uh, well, I just know that, I mean, I guess you would see how many box trucks you see. Like everybody knowing Atlanta is, it's just everybody and a granddaddy got a box truck out here. Uh, I don't know. I would just say you could base it off the rates. A lot of the times if the rates are higher in markets that have less trucks, that is less owner operators, the more owner operators in the market, you know, Atlanta is known for entrepreneurship. So anywhere where entrepreneurship is prevalent, then you're going to have, a whole lot of people that's doing it and entrepreneurship is the game. I don't even know too many people out here with a job. So, so that's, 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 that's what I would say.
All right, let's see. I'm trying to find some more questions. Give me a second. I said Alabama, is that a good market? All right, let's see. How much money you should have in the bank in order to start a box truck business? Also, need to finance a truck. Okay, now look. It depends on what type of truck you're trying to get. Cause you could, like I said, you go get a six thousand dollar truck. You, um, I, my first truck was thirty thousand. I dropped six grand down on it. I did got a horrible deal on it. Um, it cost me like twelve hundred a month. So I had, so I had that six grand in the bank. My insurance was like two grand down. That's eight grand. Let me see what else insurance and you know, little, had to get a pallet jack and stuff like that. So I'll probably say you could you could get it going for like ten grand, but I say fifteen because you're gonna need some fuel. It kind of just depends on how your work set up. Like me, I was running Amazon since I started, so I've been getting I've been getting like weekly pay. So I was running under a third party, but I was still I still have been running Amazon for the last four years, almost every almost every day. So either way, I was always getting paid quick enough where I didn't need a factoring company. I didn't really have to worry about cash flow because it was coming in just like my job like it was coming like every week or every two weeks at the time so i would say 10 grand you can you, you can try you can 10 grand to get you in though but i feel like you gotta you're gonna make mistakes so you gotta have some mistake money like i made a lot of mistakes like eighty thousand dollars worth but i didn't have any training there was no cool youtube channels to go to to check all of this this out when i when i, was, when I started four years ago not to say that people weren't doing it but i didn't i didn't even think to go on youtube to even try to get no game I just kind of fucked it up, fucked my money up a lot, a lot of it. And it and it only because I only went that far in debt because I did not know how to, I did not know what I know now about how to count my costs, how to add everything up into 30 days. Does box truck go over the road? Yeah, plenty of box trucks go over the road. The, um, I had 10 of them over the road at, at one time before I, I, um, I got the dedicated contract with, with Amazon. I wouldn't say contract. It's ded- dedicated work. No, it's not a contract. But dedicated work with with Amazon. I had ten of them over the road. I was running on select this load board, my virtual fleet, DAT truck stop. I was using all those load boards to keep them guys loaded. But you got to pay for hotels every single day. So picture you having your regular expenses. Now you got sixty to hundred dollars, depending on where they at, to pay for their night. So that's like one of those things you. You kind of don't really want to do. Well, I wouldn't say you don't want to do because it's a lot of good work. It's just you got to know your cost. If your cost can justify by any means, do it. But just know your cost. My only thing is for y'all is to tell y'all, make sure you break your insurance down to 30 days. Y'all break all y'all expenses. Now, break y'all expenses into 25 days because you're going to have to. The driver can't run every day. Unless you got two drivers, then you can run that truck 30 days. But you got to think they got to do a 34-hour reset. They got to do the 11 hour reset. So if you got, you could put two drivers in one truck, one run night, one run at daytime. That's how you maximize. That's how I made it with my one truck. I ran Amazon at night. I had another driver run during the day and I run me one during the day. So I was, I was, my truck was a prostitute. Literally like the work wasn't paying that much, but I was, I was working. I was getting my experience in. So even though I was 80,000 in debt, I still, all of those experiences is the thing that helped me get to Amazon, helped me learn how to manage. When Amazon gave me that eight routes at first, then they then they upped me up to 10, then they upped me up to 12, you know. It was just one of those things that I had already knew. I had already failed. So you can't be afraid of jumping out here and doing it. I'm just saying, do your research, let it marinate, get some coaching, do something where get some direction and figure out what's your niche. Like, it's a lot of money in hot shotting, too. Everybody talking box trucks. They sleeping on their dually truck, though. Their dually truck and trailer is probably more money than box trucks, to be honest. But ain't nobody, everybody want to do the box trucks. Like, really, really do research on the game. Oh, Demetrius B., how did, how did you get dedicated work with Amazon? So, really, I was running off the low board like anybody else. I was running off the load board and I don't know if you get them emails, Demetrius, like the, like the ones that I be getting, um, you know how they come in, they be, they, they be saying like bid work or, or they might be like, it just be certain emails they, they send me. They be like looking for capacity. Like 
that's how I was able to get into the Jacksonville market too. When I went down there for a little momentarily, they just sent me an email and say, Hey, anybody got eight to 10 trucks in this area? And I just hit them back. I hit them back. And that's pretty much what it is. They simply just asked me based on, I guess my score or whatever, but I don't think they just asked me. I think I just responded back to them, you know, quickly because a lot of other people couldn't get in. They just had box trucks because you had to have a semi at the time in order to get in. So, so that's really how I got in. Like they emailed me and I emailed them back. That's how I got daytime work and stuff with them too. They just sent me an email like, Hey, you want to do some daytime work? I'm like, yeah, said, send it to me, you know? So, all right, Mr. King, do you need a, do you need drug and alcohol consortium for your authority for non CDL box trucks? Great question, Mr. King. Great question. I like you on it. You ain't worried about the sock. You want it. All right. So, um, no, you don't. The answer is no. Completely no. Drug consortium is only. I still have, since I have 18 wheelers, I put my box truck drivers in the drug consortium too because I don't like trying to figure out which drive, you know, how to think about that. So they just call me and just tell me, hey, so-and-so need to go take a drug test. Boom. So. Shouts out to you for, um, for helping them out in the comments, man. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. How's the market in Philly? Man, I have no idea. I'm only domiciled in St. Louis, Phoenix, Jacksonville, Memphis, Mobile. I got like seven different domiciles, but it's definitely not um, Philly, though. Let's see. Hey, how you doing? Drea Love, I just got my DOT and applied for MC. And MC number not active yet due to the requirements not met yet. How long do you have to fulfill requirements to get the MC active? We're in Atlanta. So basically to get your MC active, all you have to do is, you know, you you, you pay for it and everything you're waiting on, you make sure you get your BOC3. The only other thing you're going to need to get it active is insurance. So it could take up to three weeks, but son, most of the time, I think I got I had three trucking companies. It took about maybe two weeks, two weeks, depending on what insurance. If you get progressive, they're going to upload it quick, but they high. But they they fast and I like the way they operate. After your MC is active, how long before you can access Amazon load boards? My boy Demetrius, I hope he in here. He can he can he can answer that. Like for me, it was I think it was like two days. It was active once they approve your stuff. It take like two or three days. Right now, I, th I think I heard somebody say it might take like a week or something now. But uh, I I don't really know. I'm not really that 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 fresh on getting into Amazon and and. and specifics because like i said it's been like a a, a while so yeah he said so you got into the jacksonville market yes i did and I, it was it was one of those weird things can you run under can you have someone else work under your authority yes you can you can definitely have somebody run under your authority and you could charge them like 10 percent or something like that it's not something i would do but i'm not i'm not against it a lot of guys are winning they got 10 people running their authority they're getting 10 percent. that truck do three thousand a week Hey, you got 10 of those, you're making some good income. It's just not one of my practices I would. Hey, Drea, if you look at, um, if you scroll down in the comments, Demetrius is definitely um, answering that for you. And, and make sure you follow his channel too if you're not already. He he definitely be he definitely be on top of the Amazon Relay stuff. Dude. So, um, question for me. Do you... Do you do anything besides Amazon? Not at the moment. Not at the moment, I don't. I do other stuff on the outside of another company, but I can't speak about it in this live because I'm talking about my trucking company here. So if you know, you know what I'm talking about. Just shoot me a, shoot me a message. What is the minimum size that you need for a box truck for Amazon? 26 foot. You can run it with a 24 but it's just you might have to end up leaving stuff behind. I suggest if you don't got the truck, get a 26. Make sure the box is big. Make sure it's 103 by 102. Make sure it's a big box. Make sure the clearance is 13.6. Make sure. Because you don't want no, you don't know, you don't want no bread truck. Trust me, them bread trucks be hard to get them pallets in there. You're gonna have to break down pallets to get that stuff. Don't even, don't even waste your time. And hold on, these mugs is coming in too fast. Hold on, let me make sure I ain't miss nobody. Yeah, 
I think I missed a lot of people. I, I'm saying stuff I didn't even see. Give me one second, y'all. Uh, I'm trying to answer questions, so any, I ain't trying to skip over y'all. But anybody that's just um, saying something, I'm not. I'm not ignoring y'all. I'm just trying to find questions. So if somebody got the same question, Fernando, you can contact me. Um, info at kobepegway.com. I guess maybe I need to start putting my my site down there. What do what do a uh, ops manager do? Detroit. Oh yeah, that's a good question. So my op manager pretty much run the the, the operations. They the operation manager. They control pretty pretty much the whole thing. It just depends on how big the company is. My operations manager does doc manager work. Does a lot of different stuff because we're not a huge huge company. But te- technically, an operation manager would be the person that is over the driver manager, over compliance and all of that stuff. And speaking of compliance, make sure y'all look up y'all compliance. Because y'all can get in and make money. But if y'all drivers get shut down or if y'all get shut down because y'all trying to run over the 14-hour workday, man, I am telling you, I one of my businesses went down behind that. That's why I had to start a whole new company. Well, I started a whole new company before it went out because I always keep two 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 trucks, um, two trucking companies going at the same time. Cause you never know when a driver might just drive through the way station with a blunt. You just never know. Drivers are really smart like that. They real, real smart like that. Okay, I think I answered that already. All right, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to scroll down, y'all. Just bear with me, bear with me. How much is it for gas every week total in estimation? So that's a that's a question that is very, very, mm, I don't know the right word for it, but it's it's too many different, I would say it's too many different variables to really tell you. It depends on how many miles you drove. You get what I'm saying? So say for instance, my boy, let's say I got one truck last week that did tours for the whole week. Six days. One driver did this for six days. He only went 150 miles round trip. So you figure he did 700, 800 miles. But then I had another truck that did like 400 miles a day. See what I'm saying? So the fuel is going to be different, you know, just based on how how much that truck run. And with Amazon, with it's dedicated, dedicated doesn't mean you have a dedicated lane the same day. That's not what it means. It just means that you're going to have some work. And they're going to give you some slots for some work. That's all it means. It, that, it doesn't mean that it's always going to be the same because it's always different. So that's why I said it's it's smoke and mirrors. It's good because I'm, I'm making a good living off of it, but it's, it's definitely not what people think it is. And I just I just got to be I just got to be uh, honest about it. You know, I just want to tell you all the, the truth. Somebody said, why 13-6? Hey, look. Don't get a 13-6 truck, and then I guarantee you, you're going to be coming back on the, on the live in the future saying, man, I, I know, hey, trust me on 13-6, bro. Trust me. Just trust me on it. I had a truck that was 12-6. It was cool. It worked. But picture having to break damn pallets down. You know what I'm saying? Picture it. Just picture that. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like working hard like that. I like working hard in my mind, but not. You know what I'm saying? But not like that. Do you have driver? All right, Ronald Winehurst. Do you make your drivers pay for their own gas and then reimburse them? No, sir. I don't I would never advise you to work for a company that makes you pay for the gas first. My every one of my drivers had their own fuel card. And I only can get diesel only because I done had some people try to steal. Try to try to buy um, Red Bulls and stuff on the car, but no fuel car. I got Amazon fuel cards. Thirty one cents off the gallon at Love's, twenty cents off the gallon at Petro and TA, and ten cents off the gallon at Pilot. Check them out. Anybody running Amazon Relay? If y'all don't know how to do it, I could definitely show y'all. But I gotta find the email though. I gotta find it. 
<laughs> oh, this is mad funny. Thanks for the content. Seems like told you a little baby to be brothers. Yeah, I had a couple. I had a couple people. I'll say that. It's all good. He said. Uh, he said. Mike Johnson said. Hot hot shot dually over the box truck over box truck now. No, I'm not saying it. I'm just saying consider your options. Don't just do what you heard. Do you know because you heard about box trucks? So it looks easy. If you think that's easy, picture a driver would be way more comfortable driving a dually truck, or you would be more comfortable driving a dually truck. I'm just saying, it's, a, it's it's hot shot work. It's a different type of work though, but it pays a lot because it's expedited. It's the stuff that needs to go now. So exped, expedited always gonna pay more than dedicated. Always, always. Good question, Brian. Are box trucks required to go through way stations? Now, for a long time when I was driving, I ain't go through way stations. But I do require my drivers to go through way stations because I didn't. I I was ignorant to the fact that you need to go through. Now, every since I've been having drivers, my drivers definitely one of my drivers definitely try to not go through one. And BPS definitely hawked them down and made them turn around and gave him a nice ticket. So I would say. If my driver's empty, eh, you just go through. Just go through. Don't don't try to any cheat codes until you start to understand the game a little bit better. Then you will know where you can do that. All right, Demetrius, I got you on that. Uh, I got you on that fuel car. It's actually, I believe, bro, I believe it's VAS at Amazon.com. Matter of fact, send me a um send me a message, bro, and I um I check my email and just forward you the email over so you can see exactly how it looked. So you can see exactly how it looked, bro. I got you. Yeah, he knows. He knows a good trucks. He knows a very good trucks on fuel. You get you get awesome gas mileage. But when you, when that mug break down, it's one of those things where not everybody got the parts and it it might put you down some. So that's why I stick to Freightliners with Cummins engines. The parts are always in, and people love to work on them. Kobe, did you contact Amazon, or did they contact you, and do they give you as many loads as you can handle? I would say they give me, they they, they contacted, where well, they emailed me, and I emailed them back, and that's how I became dedicated, you know. But as far as now, they just like the my account manager, like say they send me, they automatically send me about twelve loads every week now. Versus in peak, they would send me like twenty two loads every day. So now I'm down to like twelve. But then they'll hit me back up and be like, "Hey, can, how many more can you take?" So now I'm probably running like Sunday. I'm running like ten. Rest of the week I probably run like sixteen, seventeen. And it just depends on the volume. Everything with Amazon is based on value. And that volume spike up. It's a hot week. They gonna send you more. They gonna, you know, they gonna ask you for more. But it's, it's good to have like an account rep though, to just, you know, to be working with. But they people begin. I wouldn't say that they don't get fired, but they just they kind of be moving their people around a lot. So just as soon as you get cool with somebody, it's gonna be somebody else new. Okay, it's a whole bunch of. Um, Oh yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Latroy, yeah. It is now. You do gotta worry about bridges, bro. Um, you do, but it's either you gonna get a truck GPS so you can go around bridges. Unlike me, I had to learn a few times drivers hitting bridges, but it wasn't my fault. They just didn't pay attention. You know, they wasn't paying attention to their GPS. So yeah, thirteen six is gonna be good. It's gonna be perfect. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. When signing up for your DOT number, did you purchase the package that allows you to report your own expenses? Courtney Payne, I am not sure what that means at all. Um, maybe maybe Demetrius or somebody else that's that's in the trucking can can help you out because we all just a community here. We all we all should just be working together, just trying to give out this game. You know, it's certain things I can't break down. That's the only reason why I got the class so I can show y'all the formula. And how I come up with everything, right? I ain't, I can't do that in an hour. It took the I, I can't give you four years of experience and 
uh, in an hour live, not even two hours, not even in an eight hour class. I still got to compress it because it's, it's it's a whole lot of game. It's a whole lot of things. A lot of stuff is more about business than actually just trucking. It's just like you got to know how to do good business. Hold on, let me see if I. Ah, uh, 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 Demetrius, my 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 email is info at kobepegway.com exactly how my name is spelled just info info at kobepegway.com anybody else that want to hit me up that's that's my direct email and you can also come, go to my website and you can just chat directly with me from my website so go to kobepegway.com you'll see a little chat box on the side if i'm if i'm if i'm woke i usually have it online and you could just hop on there and chat now I be trying to answer as many questions as possible, but like I said, it's you know the subscribers and everything is going up, so I'm getting a lot more traction, and so I can't get to every every single question. I try. You still get people talking about socks in the background. You do you could do some, you could give some game, boy. People are still try to find find a negative and a, and a positive. It's funny. I love it though. I'm gonna keep bringing it up. And I ain't even going to get it up. I might just make that be my signature. Kobe Pegway with the sock in the background. Let's see. Great. Please tell me how to get Amazon fuel cards. And do you know how to get? Yeah, yeah, George, just um, email me on that. Email me on that. Um, and I got you. I just forward it over to you. I drive a Amazon regional route 53 for I am not home every night. However, box trucks will be able to uh, home every night. That's why I'm thinking of masking. Well, I'm thinking about making the move. Sky's the limit. Making a box truck move. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. They Amazon do got some. Amazon do have some work. Yeah, as a matter of fact, let me show you real quick. Let me show you. Let me show you. Now they do have. Excuse me, y'all. I'm trying to be rude, but I'm, I'm definitely. Um, so let's say, for instance, they just don't pay well for real. So let's just say I ain't gonna even look at nowhere. We're gonna look at um we're gonna look at round trips and blocks. So this right here is uh is what a block would look like. Same day. See Kentucky, see this this pays halfway decent. It's only 290 miles round trip for $823. That's a damn good, that's a decent load. So that's what a daytime work would look like. Would look like if you if you had that, Oregon, Oregon. See this this is not good right here. Them little short ones they try to get man. They be trying to get over on you though. But that's not. A, but it, this one requires your own trailer though, and this one is power only. So you see the power only loads pay a little bit, pay pay a lot cheap, a, lot, a lot less. But most of their stuff is power only because they got their own trailers. But sometimes they they'll let you bring yours. So this one is what two seventy four. This, this ain't bad, but like I said, you want to run. You want to see if you can maybe run a truck and run these two together and try to make you a stack out of those two runs, you know. But that'll be a way to go. To, I mean, that's the 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 semi game right there. Just a little bit, just a little bit for you, real quick. Sky's the limit. What up to everybody just joining in? I see it's growing. Y'all getting up in here. So it looked like it's not a lot of okay, hold on. I'm trying to get five box trucks. What do you think about PPP loan? Oh yeah, I I, I definitely use mine. I definitely use it on um on, on payroll. I'm taking it all from the government. They're gonna forgive it. Give me a hundred thousand dollars and tell me you're gonna forgive it. Of course. I got plenty of payroll. Million dollars in payroll. Last year, more than we have more than a million dollars with this one, a couple million dollars in payroll. Oh yeah, that's a good game right there. Definitely, definitely make sure you're comfortable. I didn't done a lot of damage. I never hit no bridge, but I didn't done some damage when I um got in there. All you got to do is watch it. It's just watch the back when you turn it. All right, so I don't know. Did, um, did I miss anybody' questions? Because I was willing to stay on a little bit, a little bit longer.
Hold on real quick. Let me see. Yeah, Valor Innovation. Um, I would pull up the Amazon load board, but that's um I'm trying to more answer questions. That's why I got the consultations and stuff like that. So if anybody want to get like specific, specific um like attention to where I can kind of show them exactly what it looked like beforehand, I mean that's exactly why I do that because you can't you can't get all that done in the live. These, these questions come in like okay. Let me let me go up to this. Hold on. All right. So Mr. King again, how many straps and load bars do you need to get started with? Hold on, it's, it's not headphones. Damn. Let me take these off real quick. How many straps and load bars do you need to get started with Amazon in a box truck with a full load? Um, I would say you can you can get away with one load bar and about four straps. You could definitely get away with that for sure. Oh, hold on. I almost messed up Mr. Roll. Power only is power only is dropping hook, but it is power only is dropping hook, but it is gonna be some but it is gonna be some live load sometimes. So it's dropping hook and sometimes it's gonna be live. You're gonna they you gonna bring a trailer there and they might load it like like when you go to the airport. Whenever you go to the airport for Amazon, it's gonna be a, a little bit of weight because they're gonna load the trailer that you bring it in and you're gonna it's always live load because the Airport don't have any trailers up there that they just holding for nobody. <laughs> Can you type that in the chat? Uh, and if he keeps talking about the sock, we're going to have to block him. Oh, uh, no, nah, it's all good, man. I'm past it now. I just, I just, I just like to have fun. I like, I like to have a good time. Give me that email again. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to respond back to all of y'all. <laughs> I would try, but hey, it's going to be a whole lot. So, so, so I'm putting it in the chat right now. So I just dropped it down in the chat. Now, I ain't, I ain't been doing this long enough to know how to pin it or nothing like that. Maybe I could pin it. Nah, I don't, I don't even know how. So this, that's what it is. If y'all can grab it real quick, that's what it is right there. So my boy Montreal putting it up there for me. What up, Trail? What is the abbreviation for? What is the abbreviation for box truck when listing my truck? I see there is R for reefer, CV for cargo van, or power only, but there is no abbreviation for straight bo straight box. What are you referring to, Mr. Ronald Whitehurst? Because on DAT, I definitely, I definitely know that it's SB on there. It's definitely SB on DAT for sure. Straight box or straight truck, it's is it's definitely something on there that um it says it. But just just shoot me another another question in the in the feed and I'll let you know. Yeah, Tony, Tony, I have six semis. First two years was rough. So I said, boy, the first two years, I don't even like I only like literally <laughs> nobody would believe I literally only profited one thousand dollars of my first two years. No cap. Well, first year and a half, I put myself in a hole and I spent the whole next six months to get myself out of the hole. So I only suffered for 18 months. But then at that six months, once I brought my wife in and she was doing the admin work, you can't do this. You can't do this alone. I don't suggest it. It's, it's too many different elements to it. You got to have a girlfriend. Uh, if a girl doing it, you got to have a boyfriend. You got to have somebody that's doing that little, that's helping you with accounting, looking at some numbers and questioning whether you're doing the right thing with your business.
can you book multiple loads at once like parcels with Amazon Relay? Um, very, very seldom, bro, have I ever been able to do partials. Now, they, I probably would say 10 times out of all the loads where they actually let me put, they might have had like a driver that had some overflow or my, like two overflow routes and they just paid me for two separate tickets. But that's very far and in between. Far, few and in between. Tyron Kolak has a question mark, but I don't really see. Um, okay, hold on. I see his question now. Hold on. Give me one second. Do you continue to leverage renting your trucks or you have purchased and owned all the box trucks? Oh, no, man. I never stop renting. I will never stop renting trucks. I don't like owning a whole lot of trucks, man. I don't like I don't like own it, owning a whole lot of trucks. I never owned more than six trucks at one time. And I was running 20 some trucks. They was all rentals. You would have you you drive past my parking lot of place, you would have thought that was rider location. That's how many rider trucks I had out there. Semis and box trucks. It's just nothing better. It just depends on the price you get. The price you're getting too, though. I had so many of them. They gave me three, three fifty a week, nine cents a mile. I mean, it was easy to make that work with any freight. Kevin Gonzalez, yeah, you definitely can rent a truck for Amazon. I started off in a budget truck. $400 a week, unlimited mileage. That's exactly how I started. Because I had to test it out. I wasn't finna go buy a truck before I knew what to do. I don't suggest anybody starting off buying. Even if you look at the numbers and you're like, this don't make sense. Put a week in to figure it out whether it even makes sense for you. A whole lot of that could have been avoided. A whole lot of failure could be avoided if we, if we just do that. No problem, Brent. No problem. I got twenty four twenty five a week, fifteen cents. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. But just what you do is see if you can go to Penske and Ryder. And if one of them give you, if one of them give you a cheaper rate, just take that back to the other dude and was like, hey, they said that if you like say like me, I like dealing with Ryder. So I went to Penske and Penske gave me something cheap. So I, I went back to Ryder's like, look, they told me they're gonna give it to me for three fifty, nine cents a mile. He matched that because he ain't want to see 10 trucks. He ain't want to see 10 trucks walk away over to Penske. So they, they honored their rate. So you got to kind of play a game with them so you can get you a fair rate. Gas to. On one, two, three, low board, there's no option for choosing box trucks under any of the abbreviations. Can I snap a picture of it and send it to you in some way? Hey, look, I, hey, look, hey, look. To be honest, I never even use one, two, three load board, so I have no idea. I only use DAT, Truck Stop, Selectus, and my virtual fleet. So those are the only ones that I know how to use. I, I've never used anything else. And I and like I said, I've been dedicated and running Amazon for most of the time. So I, that only was probably like maybe six months when I was dealing with that, if that. So I'm not I'm not the expertise on that. I'm I'm not the expert on that. Best truck, best truck rental quotes in Arizona. I don't, I don't even know. Um, I used, I used budget when I was out there. I used budget when I was out there. I, I, I didn't, I didn't get my rider connect till I came back to Atlanta in 2019, and that's when everything, everything took off. The going rate is 600 in DC. Okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, Brandon. Yeah, you definitely you definitely need your own authority. Definitely to run with Amazon. Selectus is Selectus is nice, but it's very expensive. It's about three fifty a month. It's the most expensive, but it's strictly all box truck loads and cargo vans and sprinters, all small stuff. If you want a, a cheaper version of Selectus, just get my virtual fleet. It's like fifty dollars a month. But um, I actually hear some people actually booking loads off of it. So I would try my virtual fleet first and then um, try Selectus. But it just, just know that it goes on Selectus first. So if it's a load that's going to go fast, it's going to be gone. But people were making it work with my virtual fleet. Let me see if I can answer some more questions. Then I got to get, I got to, I got to get out of here.
buying a box truck or waiting to save money to buy it outright, which is better? You mean, I, I guess you meant renting. I heard you say that you were paying 1200 a month plus insurance, 2K or slightly less. No, I wasn't paying 2K a month for insurance. It was 2000 down. So I was just telling you what, what it was down. It was only probably like eight, 800, 850. But when insurance rates are definitely higher than when I than when I first started, like insurance rates are definitely skyrocketed. So right now I'm currently paying probably like eleven hundred for each box truck and eighteen hundred for my semis. All right. I wonder how is these these questions going all the way up here? That ain't make sense. Yeah, man, they get they got these ch- this chat is like this stuff bouncing all over. I can't even. I can't even um, keep up because it ain't really making no sense over here for me. Somebody asked a question. Hold on. I, I skipped over somebody. Somebody asked me how many managers do I have? And right now, since COVID, I only get, I had a doc manager and a operations manager. Now I just have, since Amazon is like really weird with the COVID stuff, I just have me and one other person do it, which like I, like I really do it. I might do it. On a weekend sometimes, but yeah, I just I just have the operation managers do it for right now. And then my wife, of course, she is a manager too. She's over, she's like the CFO. So so she she managed compliance and all this stuff like that too as well. So it's definitely not just me. I got I got I definitely got got two dope managers that work with me. Yes, Amazon does have dedicated routes. Uh, let's see if I can run through some of these real quick. How do you hire your doc managers and di- dispatches? I, I hire everybody off Indeed, or either well, right now I deal with some dispatchers that that charge like ten percent. I'd rather deal with them because they go they the when people have their own business they hustle harder. So I like dealing with the the new age dispatchers that that that's independent that find we get your truck work. But again, like I said, most of my stuff is Amazon. But if I can't find the Amazon low, I rely on um, on these dispatchers. Yeah, Rico. Yeah, that's good. I never let a never let a forklift go on the back of your box truck. I don't care about no reinforcements. They not they not really designed for that, in my opinion. Again, this is my opinion. So don't try to come ridicule me for this. Good insurance companies. I would say try try about I would say try try about five different try about five different agents before you um go because some people just got they got better connects and they can get you better rates all right y'all i gotta i'm gonna, I'm gonna take one more question and i gotta wrap this up hey hey look i i really appreciate everybody in the comments that's helping other people in the comments that's like making the community a whole lot better for everybody learning. So like, I just, I, I definitely want to shout y'all out for that. I mean, that's, that's much appreciated because it's knocking off some of the questions that I got to answer so I can get to some other ones. So definitely thank y'all for that. Last one I'm going to knock out is, oh, oh, somebody asked me, who do I have for my insurance? I have coast to coast and I have Trinity insurance. Uh, and I told y'all about the, the the reason why I got two separate ones, but if not, I, I'm I guess y'all just gonna have to find like the video because I don't really want to explain that over again. Florida, Florida is bad for every for all freight from from what I know, probably except for moving some good Florida oranges. Yes, my virtual fleet and selectors will 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 work with you if you got a new authority. And last but not least, the choice to hit that like button. All right, um, yeah, I don't know, I I don't really see anything else. I see everybody saying thanks and stuff like that. It's all good. I'm trying to see if I can go find one more question. Uh, this is a good one right here. Should should I get MC and DOT 
before I find a driver and get on the load board, uh, I think you should definitely, because your, your MC number going to take longer to find. I mean, like, take longer to get. So it's going to take three weeks after you, it's going to take three weeks after you pay for it to, to get it activated up to, up to three weeks. So I would say like a week, maybe a week and a half before it becomes active, you throw you an ad on the deed and you start, you know, you start promoting, you start promoting right away and trying to hire people to do it. You start doing interviews on them. So yeah, yeah. So I'm getting, I'm getting restless right now. Um, thank y'all for coming in. Um, I'm gonna try to do these like twice a week. If I, if I got the time, I'm, I'll be traveling. I got some speech and speaking engagements coming up. But yeah, um, I, I appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, like I said, my hit me up on my email if y'all got something. Let me know if y'all need some one-on-one -on -one help or or whatever it is y'all need. Questions, I'm going to try to drop more videos, but the lives has just been a little more easier for me. All right, y'all, peace. Be safe out there.